Senator Bernhard really has inherited Jewish neurotic intellectuality of the, of the 50s era. It, it, it is there. And it's about, and, and you see, what she's, it is a commentary. It is a commentary. What, what, what you find in her, in her is like a whole series of allusions to, to commercials and to, and to d decor and to brand names and to, and to celebrities and, to, and, to, you know, and so on. And it's all interwoven with each other. Ladies and gentlemen, Sandra Bernhard. What she's doing in her work is a kind of um, uh, reinterpretation of this enormous body of uh, cultural experience that is still fairly unsorted out um, in America. We're still looking for a way to talk, analytic terms, to, to talk about this vast um, kind of reshaping of the human brain that's happened through the medium of television. Bob, I, I like to wear gloves, frankly. I, I have a passion for gloves. Couldn't help noticing that. I have a collection of over 250,000 gloves at home. <laughs> I sleep on a bed of gloves, which is particularly fascinating when they're full of hands. <laughs> Not often enough for me. <laughs> I find when I put on a pair of gloves, it adds new dimensions. Suddenly, dramatically, my hands go up in the air. Ooh, I'm riding in the parade. It's... The Jackie Kennedy Syndrome. <laughs> Hi, let me take you on a little tour of the White House. There's the Oval Office. There's where President Lincoln slept. <gasps> There's my husband, Jack, with a martini and Marilyn Monroe. Hi, darling. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> Happy birthday, <laughs> Mr. President. Happy birthday to Jack. I love you, Bobby. I love you, Peter Lawson. Sandra Bernhardt is coming out of the tradition of stand-up comedy in America. Now, now, um, stand-up comedy developed out of vaudeville, and the person who turned stand-up comedy into social commentary was Lenny Bruce. He would have moments of comedy and then suddenly very, get a very serious moment and, and use the kind of the depths of, of Jewish emotionality. And of course, he inherited also the tradition of Jewish ethics, the tradition of social activism. Well, I'm so excited. Um, Camille Pogli is here tonight. And yeah, she's, she's really the new spokesperson for women. Of course, feminism is dead as, as we knew it. And, um, Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm going to say that. I'm, I'm going to take a, take a chance. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm paraphrasing Miss uh, Poglia's work. I'm sure I am. Um, but recently, um, she described me in uh, an article in uh, Vanity Fair as being a walking, talking neurotic. And I'm so excited because it's such great publicity for my, my new coffee table book, Neurotica, um, <laughs> which contains explicit tableaus of of myself rearranging knickknacks and furniture in my house obsessively, incessantly dusting, cleaning small crevices with Q-tips, getting down on my hands and knees and, and scrubbing my toilet bowl. Um, it's a shocking book. And I think you're really gonna find another side to me.